In this video, the personal protective equipment worn by the phlebotomist was based on the risk assessment of the clinical laboratory of Trinity University of Asia with technical inputs from the World Health Organization and Center for Disease Control and Prevention. For review purposes, link to the instructional video of the donning and doffing of the personal protective equipment will be provided in the description box. Hi everyone! We are back again with another instructional video of the proper skin puncture procedure. In this video, you will learn how to properly collect blood samples from patients using this technique. For this laboratory exercise, you will be needing the following materials. Your own set of personal protective equipment, a disposable blood lancet, or a fully automated incision device individually wrapped alcohol pad, sterile gauze, micropore, collection materials such as capillary tubes, pipettes, slides, sealing clay, paraffin wax, and lastly, a marker. This is the instructional video of the skin puncture procedure. Greet the patient politely and with gladness. The botanist on duty should introduce himself or herself to the patient. Identify the patient by asking his or her full name, including the middle name, and the birth date. Compare it with the information provided on the laboratory requisition form. Politely ask the preparation of the patient if the test requires it. Prepare the materials, preferably in the presence of the patient. Select an appropriate site for skin puncture. Disinfect the area by wiping it thoroughly with an individually wrapped alcohol pad. Allow the site to dry. Using a disposable contact activated lancet, puncture the site no more than 2 mm deep. Wipe off the first drop of blood with dry, sterile gauze. Collect the succeeding drops of blood following the order of draw for capillary puncture. Stop the bleeding by instructing the patient to apply pressure on the puncture site with sterile gauze for at least 2 minutes. In the video, skin puncture is done for a hematocrit test. Fill the heparinized capillary tube two-thirds with blood. In a vertical position, carefully seal the dry end of the heparinized capillary tubes with the sealing clay, and the plug should be 4 to 6 millimeters long. Make sure no blood is spilled. Paraffin must wax may be added to strengthen the plug. The 
dispose the lancet and other used materials. Label the capillary tube with the full name of the patient and the date and time of specimen collection. Capillary tubes must be labeled in the presence of the patient. Check the condition of the patient before leaving. Phlebotomists may also show the tubes to the patient to ensure accurate labeling of the samples. Thank you very much guys for watching this instructional video of the skin puncture procedure. For any questions, clarifications, or concerns about the video, you may directly ask the respective professors. This instructional video is brought to you by the Trinity University of Asia, the College of Medical Technology.